Your Excellency, Dr. Abdelhadi Salih Shouwe, the Secretary General of the Higher Education Council. Your Excellency, Simon Martin, CMG, the British Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain. Professor Sultan Abu Arabi, the Secretary General of the Association of Arab Universities. Professor Wahib Ahmed Al Khaja, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees. Professor Ghassan Fuad Awad, President of Applied Science University. Professor Kara Edison, President and Vice Chancellor of Cardiff Metropolitan University. Professor Mohammed Lotfi, Pro Vice Chancellor of Cardiff Metropolitan University. 
Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Two years ago, ASU celebrated its 10 years anniversary. 10 years on the road to excellence since the establishment of the university. Yes, 10 years have passed. 10 years of success. 10 years of progress and development to have made ASU one of the leading university in Bahrain educational institution concerned with serving Bahraini, Arab, and global societies. And here we are today, going towards our vision to deliver academic program of quality that our graduate students will be prepared with knowledge and skills relevant locally and internationally. It's our great pleasure to welcome you all to ASU in this very special day and we, are, we must say, we feel extremely honored to witness this historical moment of signing ceremony between Applied Science University and Cardiff Metropolitan University. Once again, welcome to the land of peace, Bahrain, where we unite people from all cultures and religious backgrounds. Allow me to call Professor Wahib Ahmed Al Khaja, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees, on stage for his welcoming speech. Your Excellency, Dr. Abdul Ghani Shawaykh, General Secretary of the Higher Education Council in Bahrain. Your Excellency, Mr. Simon Martin, CMG, British Ambassador to Bahrain. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me a great pleasure to welcome all of you to the university, especially our distinguished Cardiff Metropolitan University colleagues, Professor Kara uh, Atson and Professor Mohammed Lutfi, on this historical occasion of signing the Memorandum of Cooperation with Cardiff Met University at a time when we have just completed celebrating 200 years of trade relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom. I'm grateful to Dr. Abdul Ghani Shuwaykh for his patronage of this event. We have worked so hard over the past three years, and today we feel this sense of achievement. This wouldn't happen. This wouldn't have happened without the great help uh, we received from His Excellency, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid al naimi and the great support of colleagues from the Higher Education Council. His Excellency, the Ambassador, also his great help uh, of British uh, Ambassador in Bahrain and colleagues at uh, uh, the uh, United Kingdom, TI, and the British Council have also provided every assistance when needed. It would also, I would also like to acknowledge the great support we received from uh, His Excellency Professor Sultan Abu Arabi, the Secretary General of the Association of the Arab Universities. Applied Science University is determined to become an international player to serve the region and, uh, of course, today we, have, uh, we are full of joy and delighted that we are contributing to the Vision 2030 of His uh, Majesty the King, which aspires to make Bahrain a knowledge hub for the region. In addition, we believe that we are contributing to the implementation of the excellent Higher Education Council Higher Education Strategy by promoting internationalization and clearly stated in this uh, visionary strategy. On behalf of the Board of Directors and Board of Trustees, I would like to convey my sincere congratulations to colleagues and students at Cardiff Met University and Applied Science University. 
many students will benefit from the launching of the new programs with Cardiff Met, namely Management and Business Studies uh, and Accounting and Finance. Not only in Bahrain, but in the region as a whole. Both ASU and Cardiff Met are determined to make the partnership a great success in all areas of teaching and research. Let me conclude by thanking once again His Excellency Dr. Abdel Ghani al-Shuwaykh for the patronage of this historical ceremony and all guests and colleagues who turned up to share the joy and celebrate a milestone in the history of the university. Wish you all a very bright future. Thank you very much. Let's now all welcome on stage Dr. Abdel Ghani Saleh al shawikh the Secretary General of the Higher Education Council. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ashab al-Sa'ada. Safir, Sa'ada al-Safir al-Mamlaka al-Muttahida bi-Mamlaka al-Bahrain al-Muwakkar. Ashab al-Sa'ada rais majlis umana jami'a al-Ulum al-Tatbiqiyya. رئيس جامعة كاردف متروبوليتين البريطانية ورئيس جامعة العلوم التطبيقية أصحاب السعادة السفراء الموقرون السادة أعضاء الهيئة الإدارية والأكاديمية الحفل الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إنه لمن دواعي سروري أن أكون حاضرا بينكم في هذا اليوم احتفاءا بتوقيع اتفاقية اتفاقية استضافة جامعة العلوم التطبيقية لبرنامج المحاسبة وإدارة الأعمال من جامعة كاردف متروبوليتين البريطانية بعد حصول موافقة مجلس التعليم العالي عن تلك الاستضافة وفقا للاتفاقية العلمية المقدمة للمجلس بهذا الشأن كما يشرفني أن أنقل إليكم جميعا تحيات سعادة الدكتور ماجد بن علي النعيمي وزير التربية والتعليم ومباركته بجهود لجهود الشراكة الطيبة التي تسهم في الارتقاء بالتعليم العالي وجودته ومخرجاته بما ينعكس على التنمية الشاملة في وطننا العزيز في ظل في ظل قيادته الحكيمة يحفظها الله ويرعاها السيدات والسادة إن الأمانة العامة تبارك هذه الشراكة الأكاديمية لتؤكد بأن هذه الاتفاقية ستكون بداية لإرساء تعاون علمي من الممكن تطويره في المستقبل ليشمل المزيد من البرامج الأكاديمية التي تخدم الطالب البحريني واحتياجات سوق العمل المحلي والإقليمي وكما تؤكد الأمانة العامة إن استضافة هذه البرامج الحديثة من الجامعات المرموقة ذات السمعة العالمية هي من أولويات عمل مؤسسات التعليم العالي وفقا لما نصت عليه استراتيجية التعليم العالي التي تم اعتمادها من قبل مجلس التعليم العالي وتدشينها في أكتوبر 2015 والتي أكدت على ضرورة أن تتجه جامعاتنا إلى تقديم برامج حديثة تتوافق والتقدم العلمي الذي تشهده الساحة العلمية في العالم وأن تعمل على مد جسور التعاون العلمي مع مؤسسات التعليم العالي العالمية المرموقة والتي تقدم برامج علمية حديثة ومتطورة إن مملكة البحرين وبتوجيهات ورعاية قيادتها الحكيمة يحفظها الله ويرعاها تعمل على النهوض بالمسيرة التعليمية بكافة مراحلها بما في ذلك التعليم العالي الذي له مكانة بارزة في خطط التنمية وبناء القدرات الوطنية ويأتي هنا دعم المملكة للاستثمار في التعليم العالي الخاص ضمن أولويات برنامج عمل الحكومة وضمن رأية البحرين الاقتصادية 2030 ولذلك يعمل مجلس التعليم العالي بكل جدا على تقديم الدعم اللازم لتتمكن مؤسسات التعليم العالي من النهوض برسالتها في خدمة العلم والتنمية معا 
لأن هذه التنمية لن تكون حقيقية ومجسدة على أرض الواقع إلا ببناء القدرات الوطنية المؤهلة لتكون الخيار الأول لسوق العمل وما مشاركتنا اليوم في هذا الاحتفال إلا تأكيدا واضحا على دعم هذه الشراكة وهذا التوجه الذي تبناه مجلس التعليم العالي ترجمة لسياسة الدولة في هذا القطاع الحيوي السيدات والسادة في ختام الكلمة نجدد الشكر والتقدير إلى جميع الشركاء الذين أسهموا في الوصول إلى هذه اللحظة المباركة وتهاني الحارة بهذا الإنجاز سائلا الله تعالى التوفيق والنجاح إلى هذه الشراكة والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته And now, His Excellency Simon Martin, CMG, the British Ambassador to Bahrain, is invited on stage to deliver his speech. Your Excellency, uh, Dr. Abdul Ghani Saleh al shuik Secretary General of the Higher Education Council, uh, and so many other distinguished guests, Pro Professor Hassan uh, Aoud, Professor Wahib al Khaja, Professor Kara Aitchison, so glad to meet you at last, Professor Sultan Abu Arabi, the Secretary General of the Arab League of Universities. We have such uh, a, a, a stellar uh, set of guests today that I wanted to say uh, good afternoon to all of our distinguished guests here in the room. Um, as, as British Ambassador, it's, uh, it's a real excitement for me uh, to be here at this, at this ceremony today. Um, uh, as those of you who've lived through 2016 in Bahrain know we've just celebrated the 200th anniversary uh, of the formal relationship between the UK and Bahrain. And this was an opportunity for us to really uh, celebrate um, the, the vast number of ways in which Britain and Bahrain weave ourselves together uh, to what I believe is the, the very great advantage to all our people in both countries. Uh, and today is a really important occasion uh, where Cardiff Metropolitan University and the Applied Sciences University are cementing a relationship which they have been working on for some uh, two years, I, I believe. Um, and it's a sign of the growing importance um, of education, both secondary but particularly higher education, uh, in the relations between our two countries. Um, I think at the latest count there were about 1,400 Bahraini students in the UK. Um, now, for a university the size of, of Cardiff Metropolitan, uh, that's a, a significant but, but relatively small proportion. But when we look at the, at the population of Bahrain, that's one in 500 Bahrainis are, are currently studying in the UK. So the equivalent number for the British population would be about 600,000. Can you imagine all of those going to one country? For me as the British ambassador, this is a wonderful opportunity uh, for so many Bahrainis to understand a bit more about the UK which means that you understand all of our failings as well as our successes. Um, but it, it builds this level of understanding uh, between us. Now, today what we're seeing is a new partnership whereby uh, the Applied Sciences University and Cardiff Metropolitan will be delivering courses jointly here in Bahrain. So this means that, it means two things to me. One is that there is a, uh, a much greater access to um, to British education amongst people in Bahrain. You don't have to go to the UK uh, to study for a, for a, uh, a British recognized qualification. Second thing, and I don't want to steal your thunder, Professor, but uh, I understand that there is also the prospect that we will see more students from Cardiff being able to come and spend time studying here. Uh, and it's wonderful for me to see the opportunity for more British people to get to know Bahrain so much better. We have something like 10,000 British people who live here, many of whom have lived here for a long time. Um, but to increase the flow of people-to-people -people contact between us has to be uh, a good thing. Now, in addition to that, um, Cardiff Metropolitan has a wonderful reputation uh, for innovation, particularly in the business field, and for its interaction with, uh, uh, with business. Um, and, uh, Professor, you talked about the, the, the vision, uh, His Majesty the King's uh, vision, vision 2030 for, uh, for Bahrain, where we're seeing a real focus on, on innovation uh, and diversification of the, uh, of the Bahraini economy. And it is precisely through the, the higher education sector that we'll see this delivered. Um, and uh, 
And so I look forward to hearing more about the, uh, the Cardiff Metropolitan uh, experience in this field. But uh, just in case the professor doesn't mention it, I do notice from, from the website that, uh, that student uh, employment opportunities for, for, for Cardiff Met graduates uh, run well into the 90%, which is higher than any that I've heard of before. Uh, and so this gives a real, uh, a real flavor for the way in which this, this uh, relationship will, will help uh, something which I know uh, that uh, the Higher Education Council is to see, which is uh, a better interaction between the, the education that you students receive at university and the needs of your potential employers. So uh, I, I see only positive things coming from this, uh, from this relationship. Um, and as British ambassador, as I say, it is my great pride uh, to be here for this, uh, for this signing ceremony, um, uh, to see yet another way in which Britain and Bahrain are working together in our mutual benefit. So thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you for inviting me here today. Uh, and I wish all of you who have been involved so far and will be involved in the future in this relationship between ASU and Cardiff Met all the very best. Thank you. Professor Sultan Abu Arabi, the Secretary General of the Association of Arab Universities, is welcome on stage for his speech. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya wal mursaleen, Sayyidina Muhammadan wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Your Excellency, Dr. Abdul Ghani Shweikh, the Secretary General of of the Higher Council in Bahrain, Your Excellency the Ambassador of Britain in Bahrain, Professor Ghassan Awad, the President of Applied Science University, Professor Wahib Al Khaja, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Professor Kara Edson. The Vice Chancellor of Cardiff Metropolitan University, Professor Muhammad Lutfi, the Pro Vice Chancellor of Cardiff Metropolitan University, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good afternoon, everybody. It gives me really a great pleasure to be here. And this is not my first time to be at the Applied University. Actually, I have been here many, many times. The first time I came when the university was located in the city in Manama. And I visited this place when it was a flat. Actually, it was not a flat, it was a house that time. And now we are proud to see the, the nice building, beautiful building of the Applied Science University. Dr. Wahib acknowledge what we have done for the Applied Science University. Really, this is, goes back almost three years, four years ago. We talked with Professor Wahib that time to bridge Applied Science University with a great university in order to bring some academic programs here to Bahrain, especially with partnership from international universities and we have chosen to be Cardiff Metropolitan because I do have a great relationship with the Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Muhammad Lutfi. Really, Muhammad Lutfi is the one who behind signing the cooperation today. We believe in the Association of Arab Universities. This association, which started 1964, and we had the first General Assembly in 1969, we had only 23 universities in the Arab world. That's 1969, that's less than 50 years back. Nowadays we have 340 universities from all the Arab countries. And we believe in internationalization as well as globalization. We started working with partners. The first partner we worked with was the European University Association, where we had the first meeting, and Dr. Wahib attended that meeting, 
was in Barcelona 2012, where we had about 200 